Hey everyone, today's video is going to be on the new Victoria's Secret Decadent Collection. So I have to say right off the bat that I love it. I have all four. I just sprayed them all um, in this room just to kind of refresh my memory on them. And this room smells amazing right now. So they do mix very well with each other. So the first one I'm going to show you is the Velvet Petals Decadent. So as you can see, the bottles are just, they're gorgeous. They're cute, um, they're rich. The colors on them are just stunning. It's got sparkles. So they did a really, really good job on the packaging. I feel like it's too bright in this room. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I normally do videos in here and it's normally dark. I'm like a vampire in this house basically. And today it's just beaming sun out there. So. Hopefully you guys can see this with all the sun reflecting off of everything. But the bottle is nice, it's really pretty. And it has the notes on the back. And this one says, rich pomegranate, arctic berries, a deep rich take on velvet petals. So let me just say that um, this smells like velvet petals with coconut. Um, which is weird because there's, there's no coconut listed on this one as well. So I'm not really sure why it smells like that. I have sprayed this a couple of times and I do pull out the coconut note, but it smells really nice with the original, um, Velvet Petals fragrance. So, um, I love it. I think it's just, I think it's really, really nice, but I'm not sure exactly where the, um, coconut's coming from. You smell a little bit of the pomegranate. You have a little bit of the berries. It smells like the original, um, velvet petals, but it does have that slight hint of coconut. So if you're a fan of coconut and the velvet petals, then you will absolutely love this one. The next one is the Bear Vanilla Decadent. So same thing, it's the colors are nice, it's rich, deep colors. The only thing I was surprised at is the cap on this one. I kind of wouldn't have expected it to be green unless I got the unless they mailed me like the wrong cap or something, but there's the cover on that one. So the back of this one says glowing amber and vanilla bean, a deep rich take on bare vanilla. So if you're um, a fan of the original Bay of Vanilla, then this one has the vanilla bean, which makes it um, an even more deeper, richer vanilla. And the funny thing is it kind of smells like it has a slight hint of the Amber Romance. If you guys have ever smelled that one, um, it smells like they added a little bit of it to the vanilla bean. So this is just, this one's really, really nice as well. So if you um, are a fan of just straight up vanilla with a little bit of Amber in it, you will absolutely love this one. Again, they're all really so nice. And then there is the Pure Seduction Decadent. So the bottles, love, love the bottles. And the back of this one says, Berry, Chantilly, Winter Plum. And again, a deep, rich take on Pure Seduction. So this one, this one's really, really nice. If you like the original Pure Seduction, this one is not very much different from the original. This is as if they made Pure Seduction into a perfume. So it's kind of a little more stronger on the plum notes. You can definitely tell this is Pure Seduction. Again, it's not really that far off from the original. I just feel like this would be their perfume version if they brought all the perfume back. So um, if you're a fan of the Pure Seduction and you always thought, wow, I wish they had a really stronger um, perfume for it, this is it in a body mist. So this one is basically spot on to the original, just a little bit stronger on the plum notes and really, really rich and deep of, um, of the classic. So if you were looking for something that would smell like a perfume, then this would definitely be it. And last but not least is the Love Spell Decadent. And again, just like all the others, I don't know why I'm obsessed with the caps. The caps are beautiful. I just love how rich and deep the colors are. This is gorgeous. And the back of this one says, Almond Blossom Butterscotch Pear. A deep, rich take on Love Spell. 
So this one I found interesting when I read it online because I was like, ooh, I want to know what butterscotch pear smells like. And again, they put the pear in here. Um, Victoria's Secret is just going pear happy this season. But here's the weird thing. And you guys have um, probably heard me say this on one of my other videos before. I smell mint. So it's really strange, again, like the other one I mentioned that has coconut that's not listed on it. This one has nothing to do with mint on it at all. This is almond um, blossom and butterscotch pear. I spray this one quite a few times. So if you picture what love smells like, there is a butterscotch note to this. So it does make love spell more creamy, so to speak, whereas love spell is usually a little more um, strong and fruity. This one is a lot more creamier, but it has that mint note in it, which again is not listed on um, the back of this one. So I don't know where I'm pulling out that mint note, but this is like Love Spell with butterscotch and mint. It's, it's nice though. It's actually really, really nice because it's such a nice twist on it. So again, just for a quick um, rundown for you guys who are blind buying this online, Love Spell Decadent smells like the original um, Love Spell with a little bit of butterscotch, making it very creamy. And I do personally, for me, smell a little bit of a mint note in this one. And again, the Pure Seduction Decadent. This is basically a clone of the Pure Seduction. It's just a lot more stronger. This smells like um, what a perfume version would smell like. So this one is not very different from the original classic one. And Velvet Petals Decadent. Um, again, this is the one that I don't know why, but I am pulling coconut out of this one. So if you are a fan of what the original Velvet Petals smells like, just picture it with a little... Um, pomegranate and a little bit of coconut so it's got that little um kind of a I think it's like a tropical twist on it even though it's winter but that's the velvet petals and one more time the bare vanilla decadent this is a richer warmer deeper vanilla with a little bit of amber in it I almost like I said before it's almost like they put a little hint of the amber romance into the bare vanilla so you really kind of can't go wrong with any of these. I think it's a great um, twist on, um, on the classics. So anyways, guys, let me know in the comments below if you have any of these and which one is your favorite. And I, like I said, I have two other collections to review for online. So I will be back again with another video.